Hi everyone, today we're going to go over um, the most recent addition to this bike and that's going to be the Viking saddlebags. We're going to take you through the installation and then go over some of the features uh, that I really like. First I'd like to talk about the look, the overall look of these bags. Aesthetically they're really nice. They match and they they actually look like they're factory which is the best part of the, the these bags. The second thing I like about these is that they're weatherproof and hard shell bags which is great. And another great feature about these Viking saddlebags is that they're lockable with a heavy-duty latch uh, to secure your items. In there. So we're going to take you through, go ahead and lock it and open the latch. So when you open up these Viking bags, the first thing that you're going to notice are the weather tight seals around the whole inside perimeter. As you take a look in the inside, you'll see that there's a very nicely upholstered um, inside of these bags with detachable organizers, good for phone, wallet, whatnot, and a detachable sun sunglass holder. So I thought that was a pretty cool addition. So between these two bags, uh, it's 28 liters or one cubic foot of space. And that's plenty of space for your purse, water bottle, jacket, or anything you wanna keep secure while you're on your ride. So now that we talked a little bit about the features, I'd like to talk about the installation. The installation took a little bit over uh, two hours and the company did send the brackets and the bolts and um, it was fairly easy. So we found the most important thing about this installation is mocking it up where you want it to sit and marking the holes um, accurately. So you want to measure twice and cut once, right? So we lined it up low enough to match the tail but high enough to clear the exhaust right here. Here's a photo of the Black Pearl before I installed the Viking hard saddle bags. The first step is removing the two factory bolts from each side. I mounted the provided brackets and made sure they were level. Next, I covered the side of the bag with painter's tape and positioned the bag the way I liked it and traced our position against the, the brackets. Then I used the brackets to mark their two lower hole positions. Using the 5 16 drill bit, I drilled the holes. Next, I taped the second bag with painter's tape and used the first bag holes as a template. I assembled the bag with the provided hardware and used the factory washers. As you can see, I mounted the factory washers on the inside for a cleaner look. Lastly, I mounted the ba my bags torquing the bolts 15 foot-pounds. So happy with the way it came out. Very beautiful. So overall, I really like the looks of these bags, the Viking bags. It really matches the natural contour of the bike and looks like it's actually factory. So it's one of my favorite things about these bags. So just to note, these reflectors actually come with the bags, but the emblem right here was um, it was our little take on the bag, so we actually installed it ourselves. So to sum it all up, uh, and after using these the last couple of months, I highly recommend these Viking bags. I mean, price-wise, it's, it's better, and it's, uh, comparatively speaking to the OEM, it's actually just more economical. Uh, the space, the features, the ease of installation, um, again, I highly recommend these bags and I can't wait to go on more rides.